Mike Semsky here and I have another real estate investing tip for you and this is all about uh, using Craigslist to find motivated sellers. Now a lot of people, a lot of investors do use Craigslist for motivated sellers so that might not be something new to you but uh, what I want to show you is a really neat trick that uh, will help automate that process so that essentially you could have a motivated seller button on your browser uh, as a bookmark. Uh, I want to show you how to do that. So the first thing we're going to do here, we're in Google, let's just go to Craigslist. And uh, when we're in Craigslist, this is going to take me to the local Seattle Tacoma market. Uh, obviously you'd go into uh, wherever uh, market you're in. Uh, if we click on real estate for sale, uh, you see here we've got our search box. Now the thing is when, when you're looking for uh, sellers uh, that you know might have some motivation in Craigslist, you definitely want to be able to use search terms to just narrow that list down. Now, uh, one thing that Craigslist does, which is really neat, is it gives a Boolean operator, uh, allows you to do searches for multiple terms. And uh, for instance, if we want to have a search for anybody that uh, type has the words must sell or uh, motivation, what we can do is we can put this little uh, pipe in here and uh, you should be able to hit shift and you see on the right side of your keyboard is a little vertical, uh, they call it a pipe, you say must sell and motivated. Now I put the, the term must sell in quotation marks so that uh, it only includes the listings that have that exact phrase in there and then the pipe means or, so anywhere that says must sell or motivated what we can do is we can hit search and you can see um, all the properties in each one of these there is uh, some term in there that says motivated or must sell so anyway um, what we can do now is we can go through and we can create a custom search and so we're going to figure out all the, the terms that someone might use if they're posting an ad on Craigslist where they have some motivation or it might be uh, something for an investment and every time we put that term in we're going to put that that vertical pipe in there so uh, must sell, motivated, uh, let's say fixer, um, maybe invest if there's like an, an investor special or investment. Uh, sometimes we might want to look for the term cash, uh, cheap. Let's see, uh, somebody might actually say help. You can try that. Uh, handyman, like handyman special. Uh, how about relocating? Someone who's uh, moving out of town. Let's see, re relocating. And uh, maybe an estate sale or uh, part of an estate. So we'll just put the word estate. So what we're going to do, and you can also go and you can select, uh, if you're looking in a certain price bracket, you can specify a price. You can specify a number of bedrooms. And then uh, when we hit search, what's going to happen is it's going to return all of those properties that have at least one of those terms in there. Now, the more terms that you put in, the larger the results are going to be. And uh, over time, you're going to start figuring out kind of, you know, how to, to change these terms to make it work for the type of search that you want to do. Now, here is the cool part. What we're going to do is we're actually going to create a bookmark with these search terms. So if you look up in the, uh, the URL bar up here, um, Craigslist actually has this query that has all of these keywords in that uh, URL, uh, URL bar. And what we're going to do is we actually take this, and most browsers will allow you to grab this little icon and pull it onto your bookmark bar. And that gives us a quick button that will bring us into Craigslist with the uh, properties every single day that may match that criteria. And we're just actually going to go here and... Uh, edit this to re rename this, say motivated sellers. All right, so now I have a motivated sellers button. Uh, we can exit this website and anytime I want to go and I want to find a motivated sellers, I just click that button and it's going to put that search right into Craigslist and then uh, we've got all of our, our our properties on here that match that criteria. So take some time, create your own motivated seller list experiment with certain different terms and then go through and start checking how those results work and if you find that one term is, is pulling up uh, listings that are, are not very relevant for what you need then you can adjust it accordingly but definitely make that motivated seller button on your desktop 
make that really easy to find those uh, the sellers and definitely use Craigslist. So I appreciate your comments. Uh, anything else that you can add to this? If you find other ways to use a Craigslist to uh, find motivated sellers, appreciate you put it in a comment below and we will talk to you next time. Whoa, 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 stop, stop. I had one more thing to say actually. Uh, one of the things I neglected to, uh, to mention when you're doing this search is that uh, you know Craigslist allows uh, both for sale by owner and brokers to put their listings in and a lot of times uh, you know a lot of brokers are going to put tons and tons and tons of listings so if you're looking to deal just with the owners of the property then you're going to want to do one more thing and that's you're going to want to click on this button that says buy owner okay so that's going to that's going to do is going to whittle out all the properties that are listed by real estate agents and uh, and it's going to narrow it down to just the owners so um, what I'm going to show you here to, how to do is we just changed that uh, search query and so we've also changed what this this URL is here so what we're going to do is we're going to change our bookmark and I'm going to I'm going to click and highlight this uh, this this uh, URL and I'm going to hit uh, control C or command C if you're on a Mac and then what we're going to do is going to edit this bookmark so what I did is I copied that that new uh, URL and then I'm going to go in here highlight all that erase it and then I'm going to hit control V or command V on a Mac which will paste that new uh, URL in and then we're gonna hit OK okay so that's the way that you can actually change that bookmark at a different time so what we'll do is we'll get out of uh, Craigslist and we'll test it and if we just hit the motivated sellers button what we've just done is uh, now you can see that we have that same search that we had before but now the buy owner button is uh, search has been selected so there you go. Use it and uh, report back if you got some good success. And again, we'll talk to you later. We're done for now. Bye.